what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel guys so we are in it we're in the ptr we've been in here for a couple hours season 28 ptr is live so if you guys don't know make sure to go check it out it is live it just started today so we have a brand new build this is the one i was most excited about to bring to you guys today and that is the demon hunter uh, Natalia's Vengeance build. They changed everything from the uh, Reign of Vengeance to Spike Traps. I want to give a big shout out to Rax and them for helping, uh, you know, seeing the base of this build and kind of looking at some things. So let's take a look at the build, guys. So we have the full Natalia's Vengeance set. They changed everything. The two piece bonuses every time you hit an enemy, you summon a Spike Trap. And if it's on your action bar, which it is, and then every time a Spike Trap detonates, you restore one discipline, which is huge. Uh, because originally this build is just very slow, but we've maneuvered some skills around to be incredibly fast. Okay, the four set piece bonus is laying a spike trap grants damage reduction. I will say without that bonus plus the addition of elusive ring, the build is very squishy. Okay, so that's really great. Uh, the spike trap six piece set deals 10,000% uh, increased damage and each consecutive blast from the detonation chain will deal 10% more damage, which is just incredible. So of course we combined this with the guardian set guys, you know what this is, we gained the 100% of our base, uh, base stats, which is amazing. And then Abdul's power with the two piece uh, bonus, we get the damage reduction and then the three piece we get uh, increased damage reduction. So, or we have the Abdul's, which gives us reduced damage, uh, taken and damage from elites and then increased damage dealt by 30 percent and damage reduction from elites so we have the Abdul set which two piece gives us damage taken and dealt by those percentages and then reduce damage from elites and damage against them by 30 percent which is great for just finishing out uh big time riffs in our rings we have the natalia set which is going to be there and then our other ring is elusive ring we need this for uh survivability to be able to stay alive guys so that way every time we're popping smoke screen we're going to get our damage reduction which is huge and then of course we got squirts for just more damage all right in our uh our legendary gems that we're rocking is taegook the reason i got this one guys is the two percent increased armor for every stack the damage part is nice when we're channeling because we are going to be using strafe but i like it just for the additional armor for survivability of course bane of the trap for more damage and then increase our, our Isaiah's zone of vengeance for more damage our our weapons we have dawn basically just to help keep a uh, full uptime on um vengeance and then uh we have the demon's demise which is critical each blast from a spike trap will damage all enemies after one second and do increased damage into our cube we have the cannon bolter so your spike traps lure enemies in that isn't so much what we're looking for but we want the 200 percent increased damage and then of course we got try ghoul's coil spike traps gain scatter rune and are deployed twice as fast and dealing 200 percent increased damage and then ring of royal grandeur to pair all this together going into our skills guys we got spike trap lightning rod now this is the key okay this is what makes this build work the version that we have because normally without this you have to use a resource generator to ignite the traps okay but with lightning rod the ability where it deals damage to everything is going to help trigger that okay so you lay a trap after 1.5 seconds it triggers when an enemy approaches once triggered the trap chain will hit up to three additional enemies and then a lightning arc will hit up to 25 yards dealing additional damage that additional damage is minute and compared to what we're doing but the fact is that we want the trap to be able to hit everybody okay and just ignite so we don't have to use a hatred spender in our slot Next, we got Drafe or Drafe Drifting Shadow Strafe for more movement speed. Displacement uh, Smoke Screen for more movement speed. We got Punishment uh, Preparation to just restore hatred. I will tell you guys, this build eats hatred. Now you could use uh, Preparation and swap it out for. Uh, you could swap this out for Focus Mind if you really want, but that's fine. We want to have our constant uptime with. Uh, hatred because when our traps detonate we do get our discipline black back so we don't really need that we want punishment to keep our hatred up at all times shadow power gloom for more movement speed guys and then vengeance seethe here all right we are not rocking dark heart for the damage reduction we are going seethe because we want to keep our hatred up as high as possible because without dark heart we do have the um additional damage reduction in our set piece and then with the elusive ring it should be enough to keep you alive no problem into our uh passives guys we got tactical advantage for movement speed hot pursuit for movement speed 
Cold the weak for damage against slowed or chilled enemies, which is what we're going to get from our skills. And then ambush to deal more damage against them initially. So that is the build, guys. So let's go in and test it out. I want to show you, I'm not too far into the PTR, guys. I'm only up to Greater Rift level 63, but this will scale no problem. But I wanted to bring this build to you guys if you are playing in the PTR or just to be very, very excited about next season. So let's just hop in and do this. We are moving up, man. We are trying to get it. So all you have to do is just strafe, guys, and then you're just going to move your movement um, abilities. You don't have to do anything else anything else and then if you want i'm not even going to pop a potion just so you guys can see it without that but i can pop a potion if you guys need me to let's do it let's pop a potion real quick so we got power there that's nice you should have permanent uptime on vengeance no problem and then you're just moving like the build the build is incredibly fast for what it used to be but this is a very lackadaisical just kind of like do nothing build man our paragon levels aren't even high we just have the max movement speed on our paragon levels just to kind of showcase the build being decently fast but that is it guys and this is all you have to do you just got to roll around and strafe and pop your movements movement stuff your movement skills that's it keep your your hatred full and boom you just roll around super easy super lazy build to play throw on some netflix guys just kind of hang out the build is incredibly fun and you know what? it's really different i really like how they changed the build to uh natalia's nobody really gave a crap about reign of vengeance or even using that so this spike trap build is is just so unique and so cool guys and look at that we just eat eat them we just eat them alive eat them alive and it's so different than anything we've seen before now i will say this this is the probably the one bummer about this build is that strafe is definitely the best way to apply your traps to everything um but it is really fun it makes it really lazy and it kind of builds off of uh season 27 which is kind of the different strafe builds that you could do i really do like it it's going to be a, a big fun uh some alternate uh things you could do guys if you don't want tactical advantage you could definitely do custom engineering to get another trap or make them last longer um there's always blood vengeance to make sure to keep your resources maxed out at all times but those are going to be the only ones that i really suggest uh if you are still feeling a big time squishy then use dark heart but it is going to drain here but other than that everything else is kind of set guys that is going to be the spike bomb build for the demon hunter in the ptr guys there is going to be changes so i'll post those down in the comments below or in the description and then i'll make update videos for you guys but initially this build is just super super fun super easy really really cool to build and play so make sure to check it out i will leave a build uh, link down in the description below guys make sure to drop a like if you have enjoyed today's video uh comment down below what do you think about the spike bomb build for the demon hunter in coming to season 28 guys this is absolutely fantastic so let me know down in the comments below and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace